Right, so hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. This video is basically a finish up tutorial on the backdoor series we started using Python. So in this video we're going to be finishing up the program that we started relating to creating a backdoor program. So the only command that's actually left on finishing this program would be the sending files feature. So essentially using this feature we should be able to send a file from our server to our remote client. Um, based on either localhost or any other network as well. So to begin with I'm going to go to the folder destination that I have my server file in and then I'm going to create a test file. So I'm just going to call the test file test.txt and put some sample text in there. And then at the end of this tutorial what we want to achieve is wirelessly send this file to this slave directory and it should be done via data sending. So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. First of all we scroll down to the end of the server file and then we go and create another command. So the new command is going to be called send files. So just do a new command and call it send files. You can do it whatever you want but I'm just going to keep it like that. Then we create we ask the user for the file. So input string please enter the file name and directory of the file. So at this stage, the user is going to need to enter the name of the file as well as the direct as well as the directory in which the file is located, so that the file can be read. So once the file has been located, we're going to read the file. So we're going to create data, and we're going to do data equals open. We're going to open the file, and then we're going to read the bytes from it. We need to read bytes because that's the format using which um, we can send the data through the socket. We can't send it in, in uh, any other format. So once it's been read, what we want to do is we just do connection.send data and then we print um, uh, we'll print the file name so we do file has been sent successfully. Right. So now that we've got this here, what we want to do next is go ahead and work on the slave program. So we're gonna add another elif statement here and we do elif command I'll just leave a line as well command equals um, send files then what we want to do first of all is receive the file so we do file equals um, also we need to do another statement for the file name so we need to do another one file name equals input string Please enter the file name of all being sent. Right. So once the file has been sent successfully, we're going to be sending the connection dot send file name dot encode file name over. So in that way, we'll be able to send um the file name that you want the file to have as well. So first of all we receive the file so we do file equals um, we need to create create. so we receive the file name we do file name equals s dot receive uh, 6000 bytes for now and then we do we open a new file and we call that file new file equals open file name from uh, write bytes because we're going to be writing data to the file and we do data equals s.receive 6000 depends on how big your file is but for now I'm just leaving a 6000 buffer and then once we receive that data we do new file dot write data and then we do file dot close Oh, actually we need to do new file.close also we need to keep the extension of the file in mind when we're sending the file over so make sure to type in the extension of the file in the file name as well we're just going to test this really quickly to see if this works and hopefully it does just go here get this up here so command is going to be send file oh it's probably send files then uh, file name and directory of the file. All right, so the file name is going to be test.txt, and I would like to call it test.txt. 
TXT as well. Uh, okay, connect a bite like object required, not high above for renderer. Connection dot send. Let me just see what went on here. Oh, we didn't read the data. Basically, what we need to do next is read the data as well. So we do data one equals. Um, oh, actually, we just call this file data. File data equals data dot read because we need to read the data, and then we're gonna read around seven thousand bytes. And uh, that should have sorted that out. We just update this variable here. We call this file data now. And then when we run this again, uh, hopefully it's going to be a success this time. Okay, let me just get this on this side. Paste that. Um, send. Send files. And then the name is test. Dot. Txt test.txt uh, command received command not recognized all right let's see oh it's basically because we didn't really do much here but anyway let's go ahead and check if we have the file received if we do we should basically have it in here all right so didn't seem to do the job let me see what went wrong here Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to print the file name as soon as it's received. File name. As well as we're going to print the data received. Just to see if it's actually receiving everything correctly or not. Because if it's not, that's probably the problem due to which the error is being caused. So all it's saying is command received, command's not recognized. Something wrong with the thing then. It's not being triggered or is it something like that. So when the command's being sent, uh, command. Oh, because we're not really, I'm sorry about that. It's really stupid on my behalf because we're supposed to send the command to the other program, but we weren't all this time, which is why the error persisted. So we're going to do this again. Send files. File name is test.txt. Test.txt. Okay, this is some sample text and test.txt. Perfect. So it should have actually saved the file this time around. And as we see right here, it's it's done something wrong, but it's worked out. Okay. Just need to make a few changes to the code and the next execution I promise you it should be correct. So if we change this to file name, okay what's being sent to us? Connection dot send file data. Okay. Okay, I get it. So if we send the file later and the file name first, that should fix the problem. If we do this. Uh, okay. And I'm going to have to navigate all the way back to the same folder again because I closed it. Uh, go to YouTube, workspace, backdoor. Right. So I'm just going to delete this file. And now when we run this program again, fingers crossed it's going to work. Right. So I'm going to paste the address in here like we always do. And then we're going to type in the command for sending the files. Uh, test.txt test.txt and it says it's been transferred successfully so we go here and as we see right here guys we finally succeeded the file has transferred from this area to this area uh, wirelessly so it says this is some sample text um, this file could be anything literally it could be a game or a massive file or anything you like just make sure to increase the buffer rate um, while you're reading the file and write uh, while you're reading the file up here. So if you could leave a comment uh, about change when a file is big, and you have to do the same here as well. So while you're receiving the file, if the 
change when a file is big. All right. The reason we have to change that is otherwise it's going to cut off some of the data and the data is going to be corrupted in the file. The file is going to exist in your current directory, but then uh, there's going to be problems with it because it's not going to be the complete file because the program doesn't have enough um, buffer to receive it. Anyway, guys, that was it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for all the support you've shown me throughout this whole um, series of backdoor programming. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I'd really like to know if you learned something new, leave it in the comments. And just so that we can start our next series, please leave me some ideas in the comments if you want me to do something new. Or I'm just going to assume that we, we should start with the PHP web series now. Anyway guys, please make sure to comment, like, subscribe and help me reach my subscriber target of 1000. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.